here is exactly how to turn your own handwriting into a font and install it on your iPad for free in less than 10 minutes. I've always loved the look of handwritten fonts. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to make your own font that you can use in GoodNotes, Canva, or any app that allows you to import fonts. And yes, it's free and super beginner friendly. By the end of this video, your handwriting will be fully installed as a font on your iPad, ready for journaling, note taking, or content creation. Before we start, here's everything you'll need. An iPad, Apple Pencil, or any other stylus, free account on calligrapher.com, an app where you can write such as GoodNotes, Apple Notes, Notability or Adobe Fresco, and a font installer app like iFont. Calligrapher basically walks you through it all, but I'll show you exactly what to do step by step. Start by going to calligrapher.com and create a free account. You can get 75 characters to play with on the free plan. And that's enough for a full alphabet, numbers and punctuation. Next, go click templates in the tab above and you can select a character set from the left as well as add any additional arbitrary characters that you want. You can type or copy and paste characters or select from the other lists provided. So this is exactly what I chose for my font. Lowercase and uppercase letters numbers 0 to 9 and 13 different punctuation characters. This is totally up to you and what you most commonly use in your writing. Download the template as a PNG or PDF if you'd rather print it out to fill in. I use PNG so I can fill it directly on my iPad as I'll be showing you today. The two template pages will be downloaded into your files app as a zipped folder. on the download to unzip the folder. Open the PNG in any app where you can write, such as GoodNotes, Apple Notes, Notability, or Adobe Fresco. You can skip ahead to whichever method you prefer to use. Make sure to use a dark pen. Don't write too small. Keep your strokes consistent. You can try different handwriting styles. And if you want even more characters, you'll need the paid version of Calligrapher. Go back to the Calligrapher website, select My Fonts, 
then new font. Go ahead and name your font. You can adjust the font size, letter and word spacing, but I leave it as default before hitting save. Then select upload template. You also have the option to clean up the template if your handwriting is a bit messy. Choose file and upload. The site will auto-generate a preview for you. Tap on add characters to your font. You can tweak baseline alignment or delete or replace any letters if you need to. Then make sure to save any adjustments to your characters. Once you're happy, select build font, then build, and then you can preview your font being used. And then you can go ahead and download your font files. Use iFont or any other font installer app to get your font onto the iPad. Share the font file to the iFont app and then follow the instructions to install the font onto your iPad. You can also view one of my other videos which shows you how to do this in a slower step-by-step -step process. Once the font's installed, close and reopen your apps. And then you can go ahead and open whichever app you'd like to use your new font in. Select the text tool, and then you'll be able to scroll down and find your new custom handwriting font. I use my font for journaling, my daily planning, as well as my Canva projects. So here is how to add your font into Canva if you don't know how to do that. I've even gone ahead and made a bold version of my font. The free version limits you to working on one font at a time. If you want to create more than one font, you will need to delete your existing one once you've completed and downloaded it and create a new font. Congrats friend, you've successfully turned your handwriting into a font. Don't forget to use the scribble feature to easily make your notes look super aesthetic. Your new font is ready to live in your planner, your journal, your digital designs, wherever you want your writing to show up and feel like you. If you try this out, drop a comment and let me know how yours has turned out. And if you found this video helpful, hit subscribe for more tutorials like this. Okay, bye!